Hello, this is Michael with Manhattan Rare Books. And what we have here today is a wonderful letter from Albert Einstein to a student, David Cumberland. The letter was written in 1950 when Einstein was 71 years old and one of the most famous people in the world. It always amazes me to discover such letters from Einstein. I mean, he must have been obviously very busy, but he still would take the time to answer letters he found interesting or amusing no matter who the writer was. Now, some background on this letter. The recipient, you see David Cumberland, was a schoolboy who had answered a test question saying that vertical lines are parallel. His answer, however, was marked as incorrect by his teacher who said that the lines would converge at the Earth's center. Cumberland, though, insisted he was correct, and the teacher made a deal with him. If he could find an authority that would support his claim, his grade would be changed. Well, perhaps it was naivete or just boldness, but Cumberland decided to write to the ultimate authority, Albert Einstein. And here is Einstein's answer. It's written on, or typed on, the Institute for Advanced Study letterhead, where Einstein was at Princeton, October 28th, 1950. Dear Sir, the concept vertical has meaning only with respect to the Earth and cannot be used beyond that context. But there is the other concept, lines vertical to a Euclidean plane. These lines, sorry, those lines are parallel. Sincerely yours, A. Einstein. One of the central components of relativity is that our understanding of space and time sorry about that, is subject to the frame of reference. And in this letter, Einstein uses relativity, namely a shift in the frame of reference, to prove that the boy's answer can be considered correct. Einstein wrote a number of letters to children on all subjects. Sometimes they were silly, sometimes serious. And Einstein's granddaughter wrote that Einstein respected children and liked their curiosity and fresh approach to life and therefore did not want to ignore them. I think that's consistent with our image of Einstein. Even though he was a genius, he seemed approachable and kind. The David Cumberland letter in particular must have appealed to him, for here was a rebellious student, just like the young Einstein, challenging one of his teachers. Thank you. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions.